guys, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights, and I'm here today with a sneak peek from Carrot.Art. If you're unfamiliar with Carrot.Art, they are a diamond painting company that carries licensed diamond paintings, and they're located in Germany, and they have a good selection of artists and diamond paintings to look at, so I encourage you guys to go check out their site. Today, I have a sneak peek from their Winter is Coming collection. I'll show you right here the paintings that are being released. So Carrot Art has recently started um, adding some more special gems and things into their canvases like crystals or glow in the darks. So make sure to keep your eyes out for that. Today we have a diamond painting that has crystals in it and I'm super excited to look at it with you guys. So let's go ahead and get into this canvas. So the kit that we're looking at is called Dreaming of Christmas. And we've got the artist information right here. Um, Ameria. I'm not exactly sure how that's pronounced. But this one is a 50 by 50 centimeter. And I believe this one is a square. So let's open it up. So let's look at this canvas. We've got the scalloped and poked edges of the canvas. And then the backing is kind of this soft, um, like lint backing. And we'll just put this stuff in here. So here we have got the painting. And isn't that just darling? <laughs> look at that little fox. Um, so this one is a poured glue canvas, so you can roll this one the opposite direction of how it was rolled to help it sit flatter. That's not going to hurt the canvas or the glue. And so I'm just going to do that and you can see how it's now it's laying really flat. And so if you see any wrinkles or anything like that, that's just the plastic cover, any bubbles. Um, and you know, that'll just be taking care of if you just kind of lift up the plastic and relay it down as you guys can see now it's just flat on there but um, I did want to let you guys know that while I was like trying to flatten down it I did realize that the the plastic does pull up really easy in some parts but it is very sticky in other parts if you guys can kind of see that um, I was able to pull it off so that's not going to be like necessarily um something that you're not going to be able to do. It's just going to be a little bit tougher. And so I will give them that feedback, but I did want to just show you guys that um, while I was looking at the canvas. And I do like that they have these large legends. I really do appreciate when companies have large um, images of the symbols, just so that you have a bigger symbol to look at when you're looking for the smaller one on the canvas. Now the printing does look really nice. You guys can see that. I always look at the white symbols if you guys watch my unboxings to see because those are sometimes the ones that I feel are the hardest. And um, you know what? These ones look great. If you guys can just see how you've even got like the pie symbol and a music note there and it's very, very clear. So um, this one, as you guys can see, will be a mix of some color blocking around the edges and then I can see some parts in the fox that's color blocking. And then there's going to be a, quite a bit of confetti though in some areas like in the fox that's going to probably add to the detail of the fox as well as the kind of sort of warm nest that he's laying in. I love these little birds. They're so darling. Um, but I do feel like this is going to be a good mix of the two if you like to kind of have a good mix of confetti and color blocking in your painting. So I'm going to give you guys a pan of this and we'll be right back. Inside the canvas, we did get 
a washi tape. As you can see, we've got the Carrot Art branded washi tape with some stars. And then you do get a branded container of wax with the blue wax. You get several slabs in there of that. You'll get your sticker sheet and this is very nice because you get a big a, you know an image of what you're diamond painting and you get the information about the kit and then here we have pre-cut stickers so we can see there's 47 colors in this and let's look so there are one two three four ab's and two crystals in this kit so we'll definitely look at those and see where they go here are our drills, so they're individually bagged. And we've got our specials right here. These are resin drills. So I'm just gonna pull these out and we'll look at them. I do, I do like that these came packaged and they come in order with their DMCs in order as well as the legend number order, which is really nice. So we've got 221, 225, 310, 315, 326, 451, and these do look really nice. You guys can see those flat backs. They look very nicely shaped and uniform. So um, that is always really good to see. And we have got 779. Oops, I grabbed, I dropped one. That must have been the one out of order. 452, 524, 611, 640. 645, 647, 648, 758, 762, 819, so a big bag of that, 838, and then 841. Eight forty-two. Eight. <laughs> I'm trying to hold these bags. I'm struggling. Eight forty-four. Nine thirty-eight. Nine thirty-four. Thirty twenty-one. Thirty seventy-two. Thirty-eight twenty-eight. Thirty-seven twelve. Thirty-seven seventy-two. Thirty-seven seventy-three. 3778, 3779, 3787-3801, 3887-3801, 3887-3801, 3883-3858, 3863, and then one, two, three bags of this 5200. We've got our first AB, this red. We've got a green, a deeper red, a white, And then we've got our first crystal, which is a grayish crystal. If you guys can see that, it's DMC 415. And then our second crystal is this 819, which is a light pink, almost white, but a very light pink AB. Or I'm sorry, crystal. I do have to say that these drills are placed in these baggies. They're actually very like good baggies. They're, they're, they're thicker than they usually are, which I really do appreciate. They're good quality bags. So let's look at these two crystals and then we've got our ABs. 
So I'm gonna look at first off this white AB, and that one is gonna be this symbol right here. And that one you are going to find in the whites of like where they're highlighting. So in the berries right there, you're gonna find it in the hat, the Santa hat on this little bird, very cute. And in the, the puff, <laughs> you'll find it again in the center of the berries or the Santa hat. And then you'll also just find it sprinkled in in the white parts that are around this sort of nest area. You'll see it also on the fox, like in the ears and in the white parts. So it's gonna just be sprinkled in there. Um, let's see, then let's look at the reds. So this bright red is going to be the symbol F and this dark red is going to be the symbol M. And so if you guys can see, there's gonna be some of those Fs right here, like in the berries. And then you'll see some M on the edges. So you'll have the same thing, some Fs right here. And then Ms. Oh wait, no, it's not the same. I thought there was some Ms, but I didn't see them. So there's just some Fs right there. Now right here in the bottom of the fox, you are going to get a lot of Ms in the, the fur area. So you will get quite a bit on the fox. It's gonna make him sparkle. I'm just looking to see there are if there's any ends. There's a few up here in these berries, but I don't actually see them on the Santa hats of the birds. So I was mistaken in speaking there, but um, yeah, so that will be your two reds. And then your green right here is going to be the tent symbol. I always call this the KOA. <laughs> symbol. You don't know what that is. It's Campgrounds of America and it just reminds me of their logo. Um, but, um, this one is, let's see, right here in the green, you'll have some right here and up here in the nest area. So yeah, that is where the green is going to go. And then as far as your crystals go, um, this silver or gray one is this symbol right here and that one's going to be like around in this gray part so it kind of looks like where the nest is buried in you can see it's sprinkled in there so it's probably going to give like a bit of a sprinkle crystal effect um as you're like just in the snow around the nest so if you can see like it's right there so all throughout that area. And then this one is going to be the symbol Y. And this one is gonna do pretty much the same thing as this gray one does. So you'll see it just here on the edges, the Ys. And you kind of see that all around the edges of the nest area. So if you guys can see that. So you guys, this is Dreaming of Christmas from Carrot.Art, and this is now available on their site, along with the other paintings from Winter is Coming collection. I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know what you think of this canvas, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye! Last year I thought about how things can Every time the